Hi folks, it's Ian Baker, the product specialist with American RV. Today we're going to go over the 2016 Montana High Country 305 RL. This full profile fifth wheel is going to boast a fully painted front cap. You're going to have four entry steps. It's also going to utilize drop frame construction. It'll have frameless windows and you're going to get fully automatic leveling with just one touch of a button. You can see here you're going to have large uh, pass-through storage as well as your convenience center so everything is going to be nice and easy to access and all in one place. Let's head on in and take a look at the gorgeous interior. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Montana High Country 305 RL. This particular unit is going to be in the fresco interior. It's a great floor plan, a really great layout. You'll have the rear entertainment area here, dual opposing slides, really opens this space up, and it's gonna allow for this very large center island. So I really like this center island because it makes a, an excellent prep space. You can see you just have a ton of countertop space, especially when you have your sink top covers here which these uh, of course will be uh, can be removed and you will have your double bowl stainless steel sink in here so nice large uh, you know nice large double bowl stainless steel sink there nice and easy to do dishes and in order to aid with that you're gonna have this high-rise stainless steel faucet this will of course be a pull-out faucet and you're gonna have your controls right here on the head so just a, a wonderful um, uh, faucet there as well if we take a look at the storage underneath you're gonna have excellent storage here you have a bank of four drawers you can see here they're already going to include the uh, silverware divider for you but nice big drawers here full extension ball bearing drawers you can see that they can take some weight which is fantastic you'll have uh, the, excuse me that bank of four drawers you can look here again great storage area right there and then over here you'll have an additional drawer right here and you're going to have a pull-out trash can. So you gotta love that. They actually specifically built a spot for your trash can that we don't have to worry about where you're going to put it. Now, in our slide here, to, to round out our uh, kitchen galley area, of course, you're gonna have the, um, you know, the nice doors on here. That's gonna open up. You have additional storage in there, uh, but you gotta love that raised panel cabinetry there. Huge microwave. If you take a look, uh, you know, just massive, massive microwave in here. It's gonna be uh, gigantic. Yeah, I, I love that. That way, if you do have anything large that's going in there, you can certainly fit that in there. So huge microwave, a nice storage off here to the side. Side. and then you're gonna have additional countertop space here you will notice uh, you have this nice decorative backsplash as well as a plug-in so if you do want a place for a dedicated coffee maker or something like that you can certainly put that there now here you're going to have your um, three burner stove top it is going to be a Atwood stove top the stainless steel one there um, you know you gotta love having the covers on there though again those solid surface countertops are really beautiful and with the cover on there it just gives you more prep space Underneath here is going to be our oven in case you want to bake anything. And then underneath that, you can go ahead and pull that drawer out. You're going to have some additional storage there, as well as a nice big storage area right here. So lots of large storage areas in the 305 in our galley area. Then you have your monster fridge. Take a look at this. A huge Dometic fridge freezer. One of the biggest in the industry. Uh, it's still going to be an RV fridge. So the cool thing about this is you can still take this boondocking if you so desire. And I don't mean down a dirt road. What I mean by that is if you don't have full electrical hookup, this will still run off of LP. So very cool. Nice Nice large fridge a ton of space in there plenty of drawers you have removable items if you have something that's tall like a half gallon of milk something like that and of course this will have automatic switch over so if you are running it off of LP as soon as you plug it into electric and then that shore power will automatically switch over for you now next to the fridge is going to be our entertainment area so you're gonna have your um, uh, tinted glass up top here you can see here's going to be your DVD player but you get nice storage on this side you will have a TV that is going to be included here uh, so that'll fill this space but nice big TV there of course that's gonna be hooked up to your DVD player in case you want to watch a movie and you're gonna have your sound bar right here for superior sound quality underneath that is going to be our fireplace cool thing about the fireplace not only does it give it a, a nice aesthetic a nice look but it's also going to do a great job of taking the chill off 
off in this space. So if you do have full electric and you don't want to run your propane, you can go ahead, turn on the fireplace, like I said, let that space heater run it, and uh, you will enjoy it. Along our back wall here is going to be a trifold sofa. So uh, the great thing about the trifold it is going to be the preferable type of sleeper sofa in RVs because you don't have to worry about the bar in your back and the traditional pullouts, and you're not going to have to worry about an air mattress that's going to deflate on you halfway through the night. Uh, it's also going to be extremely comfortable to sit in, uh, and you'll notice you're going to have shelves on both sides here, and you do get access to electrical outlets. So that way, if you want to sit on the couch, work on your iP uh, iPad, laptop, something like that, you can certainly do so. Also, you're gonna have windows all the way around the uh, couch here, including the back window, nice big rear picture window. So if you are lucky enough to back up to a beautiful view, whether it's uh, you know ocean view or lakeside, something like that, you can certainly go ahead and enjoy that from the confines of your RV. We, uh, up top, you have additional storage here. So, uh, you know, they're util fully utilizing all the space. You get the, the great storage there. Again, the tinted glass. And of course, you'll have your LED lights. It'll be throughout the entire coach. The, uh, Montana does a great job of brightening it up, especially because, you know, some of your couches and some of the colors in here are a little bit darker. That is offset by a lot of LED lights as well as your really bright countertops. So here's going to be our theater seating. My opinion, this is going to be the best seat in the house. You can sit right here. You have a straight shot across right to the TV. Extremely comfortable. Both of these will recline. You're also going to have a dual cup holder here, and you're going to have a little center com uh, console area right there, which is perfect for any remotes. But I really like this setup because not only do you have a good shot to the TV, but if someone is, uh, you know, cooking food, you can talk to them. If you have guests that are going to be sitting on the sofa, you know, you can have open conversations conversation so it, it is a nice layout that they have here and again windows all the way throughout this slide really let in a lot of natural light as well as as you'll see you have a couple banks of light uh, right here is going to be our um, our freestanding table of course you do have a leaf that'll pull out so if you do uh, need additional room you can go ahead and pull that leaf out and you're going to have four chairs here uh, cool thing about the chairs as you'll notice you can go ahead and open this up and all four chairs will have storage underneath the seats so that's really neat uh, you know just a nice extra storage area they went ahead and put in the chairs for you now up front, this is something that they kind of did new for 2016. You're going to have a hutch here. Um, it's it not only decorative, but it's also going to be functional. So right underneath, you're going to have a wine rack, which, you know, when you do put wine bottles in there, it really is a nice touch, kind of makes it feel like home. Uh, that's a, a really cool feature they added. Again, the nice big uh, tinted glass doors there, large storage areas, very large storage areas. And then the same thing on both sides, you have great storage on both sides. Then you also have this bar set up right here um, and if you notice you do have two additional plug-ins so if you did want to make like a uh, you know Bloody Mary bar or you needed like a blender something like that you can certainly plug that in and have that um, again just you know great for entertainment really cool feature we have storage here um, as well as storage on this side of course you're gonna have two pull-out drawers here and you're gonna have additional storage here in the center. So great storage throughout this entire hutch area. In the bathroom of our 305, you'll see right here is going to be the porcelain toilet. Plenty of leg room and also make it nice and easy to clean. And then here is going to be our linen closet. As you can see, you have a ton of storage there. It's very deep storage. So you have plenty of space for towels or anything else you'd like to put in there. Here's going to be our one piece residential shower. I love what they've done here. It's a very large shower. You can see you have a seat built in as well as a couple of shelves. And up top, you get a nice big skylight, really lets in a lot of natural light, gives you additional headroom. And they're gonna have the tri-slide glass door on there. Then right outside our shower is going to be our mirrored medicine cabinet, LED lights there. Gonna go ahead and make it nice and easy to see. You need to put some makeup on. Uh, great storage there. You'll have your vanity and sink top. As you can see, you do get good uh, countertop space here in the bathroom. And then you're going to get additional storage underneath. 
In our 305 high country, you are going to get a king bed so you have plenty of space to sleep without elbowing each other at night. Also, it is going to lift up, it will be strut assisted, you get great storage there, and you're going to have a nice padded headboard, so if you do want to sit up and read at night, you can easily do that, especially being assisted by your LED lights. You also are going to have windows on both sides, allowing for a nice cross breeze, and you're also going to have a shelf that's going to be built in, which is perfect for a glass of water, or if you do want to charge your cell phone, you can set it there, and as you will see, you do have a charging center with a couple of USB ports. Now in the nose of the fifth wheel, you're going to have your wardrobe, you have a shelf that's going to be built up top here, as well as a hanging rod that's going to go all the way across, nice large hanging rod. In the back here is going to be your uh, shoe rack, and then on both sides you're going to have additional shelving with plug-ins, and you are going to have washer dryer hookup. So if you do want a washer dryer in this RV, you'll have uh, your dryer over, or your washer over here, dryer over here, but you uh, certainly can go ahead and put those in. As we look at the foot of the bed, right here is going to be your, uh, it's a stool and a clothes hamper, so you can lift it up, it's going to have a net in there to go ahead and throw your dirty clothes in, or again if you need to sit down, put your shoes on, your pants on, whatever it may be, it does double as a stool. Then right here is going to be our dresser, we're going to have two large drawers there, and then you're going to have an additional plug-in as well as our TV. It does come with the TV, we currently have it taken out, but you do get the TV both here and in the main living space so this is nice because if you want to watch a TV show or maybe you want to watch a movie uh, you know before you go to bed you certainly can go ahead and do that all right folks thanks for joining me again this is a 2016 Montana High Country 305 RL and this one is in the fresco interior this is going to be a great floor plan it has an excellent entertainment area uh, you know it's perfect for you know just you and your spouse or maybe you're going to have some guests maybe you like to entertain you really can get great conversation going on you're going to have that huge RV refrigerator uh, you know a very large bathroom plenty of room there one piece shower you have that nice hutch with, the, with the, the wine holder just a great floor plan one you want to come and see if you do have any questions or comments please feel free to go ahead and leave those on the video below or you can give me a call here at american rv and i'll be happy to answer it that way as well thanks for watching i'm ian baker and i can't wait to see you on the road to freedom